mark. Unacceptable result today. What's your take on that? Yeah, an, an unacceptable result. Um, in the position we're in, we, we can't we can't be affording um, not to get three points in a game like this. Um, we had a bright start. We had our moments. We did. We didn't take them. Um, we got. We got. A, it's no wait waiting now. We've we've got to execute. Um, we haven't we haven't done that today. Um, you know we've hit the bar twice. We've had two big penalty shouts. You know, waved away. Um, but our final cross, our final shot, we're, we're not executing, uh, and we've been caught on the counter. Their game plan then gathers momentum. Our game plan gathers frustration as as the game goes on because. Uh, we're not delivering at home and we haven't delivered for a while and uh, people are rightly getting frustrated and, and, and so they should be. Um, but we've got to be mentally tougher to, to deal with that um, and we've got to find that mental framework to deal with the situation we're in at the moment because uh, the game gets desperate, but the game gets desperate because we allow it, because we don't execute that final shot, cross, pass um, and we'll continue to work hard. The only way out of this is to fight and scrap now. Um, I protect the boys as much as I can. I can't hide them from the situation any longer. They've got to stand up and be counted. They've got to find the mental skills to deal with this. Uh, we will keep trying to um, you know, facilitate that and work as hard as we can and find ways of dealing with it and putting them in chaos and in training. But we've got to find a way out on the pitch now. It's time for men to stand up and be counted. It's time for players to execute in situations, um, you know, I talk about. I feel that we've gotten fitter, faster, stronger with the work that we've done, because the stats show that. But the stats mean nothing now. The stats mean nothing if you sprint more than the other player, but he gets to every second ball. There's no more if you run further than you've ever ran before, but you don't make your tackles, win your first contacts, pick up second balls. You know, execute your cross at the end of a long, long busting run because you're getting fitter to play football and win football. If you're getting fitter and, and we're not doing that, then that last bit comes to up here and in your heart, and we've got to show more of that. And uh, you know, there's no time for waiting now. It, it's about it's about delivering now. Uh, we're all fighting for our lives, our careers, and we've all got families that that rely on it. And um, you know, we. We've never gone short since we've been in. We'll never go short. We'll give this club everything we've got and more. Uh, we'll keep refining, keep analysing like, like we do. But, you know, there's only so much analysis you can do. Um, you know, we, 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 we try to put ourselves in areas where we nullify the team as much as we can. We're trying to get more attacking intent. But it is that word intent which is missing from our gameplay at the moment. More intent with our cross and our shot. Someone who's going to have to you know, show the minerals now to step up and go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be your man. I'm going to put the ball in the net. I'm going to cross. I'm going to track back. I'm going to organise. You know, And uh, the things that we hold to, so dear, our body language, our reactions, our awareness and our communication um, needs to be 10 out of 10. And there's no excuse for that, no matter what's going on around us, no matter what the scoreline is, the pressure that we feel. So we should be under pressure. We've put ourselves under pressure by not executing and following through. Um, you, you can't be the nearly man. This, this is football. This is football. Um, you've got to, you've got to find a way. You've got to find a way when the chips are down. Um, you've got to find a way of managing your emotion on a pitch when things aren't going as well. Um, because we've had real clear good moments in a game. It's an attacking game. It was open. We tried to win the game of football. We created enough chances at the start. Put them away. The whole game has a different complexion and feeling about it. In the end, it becomes scrappy. They got their goal. And like I said, their their tails are up, and and away from away from home, they can take the sting out of the game. They can counter in the game because we've got to try and commit and find a way. But I'm asking I'm asking for more awareness from our players. I'm, I'm asking for more awareness, and I'm asking for more heart and character now, uh, because if they don't realise we're fighting for our lives, then uh, you know they're in for a rude awakening. You mentioned intent there. Obviously, intent was made with the starting lineup. Two gone up front. Obviously, Ethan Ross in goal, and also Kev Locko back and. The intent was there from the lineup, and you know we had the chances early on in the game, but it just didn't seem to work out, and it was just all all seemed to be nearly moments today. Yeah, too too many nearly moments. Now we're getting to the stage of the season where, you know, I'm looking at game loads of moments, loads of counter attacking opportunities, load, 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 more chances than we created of late, um, but still nothing to show for it, and um, it, you know it hurts me, and uh, we can't be that team that 
that nearly team. Nearly's not good enough now. Nearly's not good enough now. We we have to find a way, and we will. And when we do find a way, and we come out, you know, we've been on a run in this league before. We know what it takes. We know what we've got to do, and and that's what we're going. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be scrapping and fighting for our lives now. Um, you know, we can't take our eye off the next game. We never have done as a, as a group and staff. We've always tried to provide the players everything everything they need to get the job done. Uh, but I'm asking. I'm asking for people to stand up and find a way now. Just a word on Ethan Ross and Kev Locker today. Obviously, Ethan's debut and Kev's come back, played for 90 minutes today. Yeah, but two real positives. Two real positives. And it's, it's hard to take positives when you lose, lose at home. But, um, you know, obviously a positive start with chances are created. But big positives, Kevin Locker, 90 minutes. First time he's kicked a football for us since we've been here. Uh, big character. And we're going to need, we need that around. I thought Ethan Ross, considering he come in today, uh, first time he met the lads, I thought he was seamless. I thought his handling was good. He kicked well. He's, you know, I thought a uh, real big presence in goal for us. Um, couldn't do anything with the goals. Um, but, yeah, two, two, two positives to take out of a really tough afternoon for us. Um, I'm sure when we break it down and, uh, you know, and we analyse it, we'll look at that we have created a lot more chances. But we're masters of our own downfall. Um, and we've got to grow up quickly. Uh, you know, we, we'll... Keep trying to find creative ways of making us better and find the solutions. Um, but there's a big responsibility out when you cross that white line. You know, we're trying to remove every excuse. When you cross that white line, there has to be a switch. And you find a way of getting getting your job done. You stick to your own responsibility, regardless of the pressure and the emotion and, on, and the score line and what's going on. Um, you've, you've, you've got to hit the highs now. You've got to be bringing your A game. You've got to be... You know, 10 out of 10 and with your mentality and your physicality because there's no excuse for that. You know, and if, you know, oh, I'll fool them mistakes. I will have fooled them mistakes. Um, but I won't have fooled lack of fight, lack of energy. No way, non negotiable. Today feels like the biggest eye opener in terms of where we are in the league and what we need to do to stay in this league. Ultimately, as us, Oldershot Town people, we don't want to see our own fans booing us at the end of the game, say their frustrations. and. You know, it feels like something we need to wake up to now and realise. You know, this is what we need to do to stay in this league. I've had my eyes wide open since I've been in here. Um, you know, <laughs> the the work that we do shows the most respect to this football club and our fans, and also the opposition. Like we're trying to leave sto no stone unturned, and we'll continue to do that. Um, so my eyes have been f firmly opened, and I'm doing my best to navigate the team and the club. For everyone to have their eyes open to what the challenge is ahead, and uh, rightly so, we're coming under a little bit of flack. Rightly so, um, we haven't we haven't produced. You know, we're we're the nearly men at the moment, and nearly's not not good enough in football, unfortunately. Um, it will your football career will be short lived if you're a nearly man. And I certainly don't want to be one of them. Um, you know, we've all got we're all depending on finding the solutions, and um, you know we'll continue to search for them. I'll continue to motivate the players to take responsibility and and find 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 a way out on the pitch, um, you know. And we'll keep we'll keep getting back on the horse and giving it everything we got. And that, and that's what we do. We've we've been on a good run before, and we've just got to find we've got to find that again and find that moment in the game. I mean, you know, the, the game would have had a different complexion if we had them moments at the start and we didn't. Um, but it's it's only going to get harder. It's not going to get easier. The pressure's mounting now. The tension's getting more. Can't run away from it. You've got to front it. You've got to be excited by the challenge, not not run away from it. Yet yeah, the chips are down. There's a lot of questions being asked of us now. This is where we find out about ourselves. You know, I've never shied away from a challenge or a fight. Certainly won't be in this one. Not not at this football club. Um, you know, I'm so proud to stand here. And um, you know, we need each other more than ever now. We're going to have to stick together. I know it's a tough time. I know it's frustrating. Um, because. The crowd are getting frustrated because there's so many moments there where we're so close and that creates more tension, you know, and more frustration. And I feel it. I'm trying to, you know, it's natural, um, you know, and the players feel it. But we've got to go away from home now and we've got to make sure that we come back when we're back here. We've given them something to want to come back to. And, um, yeah, there was moments in the game which was good and we've got to keep doing and there was moments in them games where we can deal with situations better. Obviously, with the quick turnaround of games, got two away games next week. Torquay on Tuesday, as you've mentioned, obviously a real opportunity to not reflect on tonight and move forward and hopefully get a result on Tuesday. Yeah, game can't come quick enough now. 
that's what we want. We want a game. We want to get back out there. We want to put this right. We want to get back out there and show what it means to wear the shirt. You know, we've got to go out there and, and show heart and fight now and togetherness. Um, you know, we're not going to be the prettiest way of coming out of this. Um, it's not time for pretty at the moment. You know, pretty's long, you know, long term. Uh, and, and we can sort that out when we get there. But right now, it's um, we, we've, we've got to fight, find that that heart and that fight and that character second in, second out of the game. Because we show it, but not enough. You know, not enough. Too many second balls lost today. Reactions to turnovers not sharp enough. I'm looking for excuses to say that it's fuzzy head moment because of we went behind and that, you know, maybe there's a bit of a sinking feeling around. This is football. Find a way. Find a way of dealing with that, you know, and uh, use the experiences from today and learn quickly. So we're we're looking forward to the game Tuesday. Like I said, it, it can't come quick enough at the moment. But um, I'm lo I'm looking forward to the, to the reaction and, and the fight now because uh, a lot of people are questioning us. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Shots.